collapse. And I've only been playing for a minute and 30 seconds. In this video, I will be talking about my experience with embouchure collapse and what I am doing to rebuild and strengthen my embouchure. So tonight I'm practicing and I'm trying to change my embouchure because air is escaping outside, so I need to do something different. I'm trying this. Basically, I'm putting my lower lip in a little more. I'm angling my head up a little bit. And my top lip is pooching over my bottom lip. Sealing the corners of your mouth with the edge of your upper lip will immediately improve your endurance because you are not using muscle energy to force the closure. Here are some examples of some really awesome horn players using this technique. In this next example, it appears that the seal is being created from the bottom lip. In the past, when I saw an embouchure like this, I would think, how in the world can they even play with that embouchure? The truth is, I struggled with embouchure collapse really my whole playing career. From the time I was a beginner horn, I worked at keeping my corners firm, keeping my chin flat, and doing that didn't allow the corners to seal in the way that you see these horn players sealing their corners. In the past, as I have tried to strengthen my face, I have literally been obsessed with exercising my face, exercising my throat, exercising my tongue, all in order to achieve better endurance. And to some extent, some of the things that I did in the past worked, but I'm really excited to try this new technique. So basically, I'm rebuilding my embouchure. The last 12 years, I've been playing low horn. As far as endurance, it's a lot easier to play low horn. When I was playing low horn, I focused more on my tone. I worked at achieving a warm, um, smooth sound in the low range so that my sound would blend with the other low instruments because often I would play in unison. So what I would do is really open up, you know, and be very loose. Now, when you switch back to high horn, your embouchure is very different. When I would have to play higher, I would get tired really quick. My embouchure would collapse. I'm trying to change my embouchure so that so that doesn't happen when you're playing higher there's a tightening that happens but when you tighten your face your endurance suffers like a runner i have some friends who run they've learned when to relax certain muscles in their body and it improves their endurance i think it's the same thing with this 